Today's theme is seahorses. Today we are reading Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of the eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by, <gasps> what do you think's hidden behind the seaweed? <gasps> A pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Curtis? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Curtis. Mrs. Curtis laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. Stonefish, because it looks like a stone. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? 
asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe laid her eggs along my belly. Now I'm taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse, and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs and the eggs hatched. Now I'm babysitting. You are doing a fine job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled from Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to come back into his pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. Look at all the little seahorses swimming away. Goodbye, seahorses. Thank you for reading this story with me today. It's puppy time. This is Mr. Seahorse. And this is Mrs. Seahorse. Mrs. Seahorse is ready to lay her eggs. Can I help? Mrs. Seahorse lays her eggs into Mr. Seahorse's pouch. When the eggs are ready to hatch, they will tumble out from Mr. Seahorse's pouch. But until then, Mr. Seahorse will take very good care of them in his pouch. Thank you for taking care of my eggs, Mr. Seahorse. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Welcome to the world of Eric Carle. I'm Renee. And I'm Ray. Ray, do you know what today's theme is? <gasps> Seahorse! That's right, today we'll be making paper plate. Seahorse, based on the book, Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. The supplies you'll need will be paper plates, construction paper, glue, a marker, scissors, and textured tissue paper. If you have googly eyes, grab those too. Let's begin. First, take your paper plate and cut it in half. Next, we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to put it all over our plate, take our textured paper, and make a little beautiful collage of color on your paper plate. If you like to tear things, 
have some fun. Tear it up some tissue paper. Doesn't matter how much you use, just have fun and put as many colors as you possibly can. I'm using lots of purples and blues for mine. You are. Hey, have you ever seen any ocean animals? I have. My family and I loved to go to the ocean when I was younger, and we would collect seashells and, and see all the fish. Now, once you get your seahorse covered, go ahead and grab your marker. We're gonna make the head and tail for the seahorse. Using your marker, go ahead and make a curved shape and then a long shape. Next, you're going to make a curvy shape. Once you're finished with your shapes, you can cut them out. Once you've cut them out, you can glue them onto the body. I'll place my seahorse head at the top and the tail at the bottom. Next, you'll decorate your seahorse face. If you're using a googly eye, apply some glue and place your googly eye. And draw a little mouth for your seahorse. The final step is to put the coronets onto the back of the seahorse. I'm going to tear small pieces of tissue paper for my coronets. Did you know that seahorses all have a slightly different coronet than each other? <gasps> kind of like fingerprints. Yeah. <laughs> and once you glue them all on, you have your very own seahorse. Hi, Ray Seahorse. Hi, Renee Seahorse. What a lovely day for a swim. <laughs> Let's say hi to all the seahorses at home. Hello, seahorses. We oh. love all the colors you used. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you had fun. See you soon. Thanks for playing with us today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you soon. Mm -hmm.